Tuesday night, GOJ chill action and a big one from the Leisure Plex in Fort Erie. The Caledonia Corvairs getting set to take on the Fort Erie Meteors who are still in contention for the one seed. Let's hop into the first period. Kyle Adamo picks a pass off into the zone. Adamo fires and scores. Kyle Adamo's got his 24th of the season, and the Meteors are off and running in the first period. It's 1-0. That's where he would sit after 20 to the second period we go, and it's great patience at the side of the goal from Blake Hall. He finds it. He buries it on the far post. Hall has his 15th of the season, and Fort Erie's got some insurance in this one. It's 2-0 Meteors. Now Fort Erie on the power play, but this pass is going to be picked back off. Caledonia back the other way. Corvair's looking to cut the lead to one, and that's what they do. Jaden Lamel lets it rip from a tight angle. He finds the back of the net. He's got his 23rd on the campaign, and Cali is right back in it. It's 2-1, but Fort Erie would not lay down. Digging at it in the far corner. This pass is going to come up top on the power play, laying right out front. Dominic DeFrancesco, he buries the rebound. DeFrancesco has Fort Erie back up two. It's 3-1 Meteors with his sixth of the season. But Caledonia not going away just yet. Late stages of the second period now. Corvair's looking to cut the lead back to one. That's what they do. Ethan Girard, what looked to be a centering pass, hits off the netminder and into the back of the net. Caledonia is back within one. It's a 3-2 hockey game after 40 minutes. Let's head to the third period, and things would get chippy in this one. Off the save from Charlie Burns. Tyler Savard gives him a little snow shower. The Meteors don't take kindly to that as everybody comes in, wants a piece of Savard. Keep this in the back of your mind for later in this hockey game. Let's continue to play hockey, though, in the third period. Liam Beamish for Coley. Back for Beamish. What a goal. Tic-tac-toe. Beamish the tip in, and he's got his 26th of the season. Meteors go back up two. They lead four to two. Now Caledonia with an empty net, looking to get back in this one. Shakamuntu will bury the empty nether. Things getting heated on the far boards as everybody grabs a partner, and things getting ugly late in this one. Now off a dump in, Charlie Burns will make the save. Noah Balzer goes right at him in the crease. Meteors don't take kindly to that, and everything comes unhinged in Fort Erie on a Tuesday night as Caleb Bidgood tied up with his man out front, and things starting to get ugly with under a minute to go in this one and a 5-2 Fort Erie lead, but Fort Erie would get the last laugh in this one as they come out on top of this one over Caledonia. Back-to-back wins over the Corvairs for Fort Erie. Mets get four points on a home and home. They're three back of the one seed. Meteors take it final 5-2 over the Corvairs. Every time they scored, we just put our foot more on the gas and went harder and never gave up and we were soaking shots and making big hits and took care of business. Killed all the power plays off tonight. Your penalty kill was rolling. Just take me through that. Yeah, you know, just like I said, guys are soaking shots. Guys are dial dialed in and uh, buying into what we got, and, yeah, it gets the job done. Forward Blake Hall with me. Blake, a goal and an assist in this game, two points. Take me through the effort. You guys had a big weekend over Caledonia, four points and a possible four points. For sure. It's always nice to beat those guys. Uh, got a little rivalry going with them now, too, so it'll be nice hopefully see them down the road again. And, uh, you know, it's awesome just to beat those guys. Good, good all-around effort by the boys this weekend. Take me through your goal there. Yeah, I don't know. The puck was just bouncing everywhere. Went out to Ryland. He shot it. Went back to me behind the net, just kind of tried to bank it off the goal, and it just trickled in, so it was nice. You guys got a big win Sunday night in their barn. You knew they were going to come back flying here in this one on a Tuesday night. What was your game plan? What was the mentality coming out? Yeah, we just wanted to get, get pucks out, get them in their zone, and work it on their D down low. We're the best, uh, best down low, so we just tried to do that the whole night.